guess we're going to go to the best part of the show that I enjoy, that everybody seems to enjoy the most. It's, hey, what are you listening to? We're going to start off with Nip. So, Nip, hey, what are you listening to? Uh, I'm going I'm to switch it up. I'm going to switch it up this week, man. I feel like I always come through with the hard-ass rap shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, got a little savvy this week and, 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 and popped that Kirby back in from earlier this year. All right. Uh, entitled Sis. Uh, because one of the tracks I was digging on that was uh, 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 uh We Don't Funk. All right, let's play some of that. Look, let's everybody take note that Nip picked an artist that was a woman that sings. <laughs> that he I want everybody to take notice here. So when I get the hate mail, they'll be like, Man, he only like them hardcore. Blah, blah. Hey, <laughs> hey, he gave you one, so let's go. <laughs> we Don't Funk. Oh man, you're gonna have me playing this album. I've got, I've right. got they- this album, actually. Yes, sir. <laughs> going this one now. Damn. Yes, sir. I need to clear my whole calendar for the rest of the week now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think you had one more on there, too, that you were listening to. What other track were on that album, too, that you were insisting? Uh, the, the last track. What was that? Uh, don't, don't, don't Leave Your Man or Don't Leave Cuz, something like that. Yeah, Don't Leave Your Girl. <laughs> don't Leave Cuz. That don't would be a better cause. title. Don't Leave Cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, man, we we going to have a real conversation one day about what happened to the real side chicks out here. Not the snitching side chicks, like the real no. side chicks. It's like, no, 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 I don't want no relationship. Mm-mm. Stay with Mm-mm. your family, but you can I come out and do my draw. We're going to have that real, right. real conversation about the old school side chicks. You know, one of them That's jokers right. that, like, they got a family on the side of town, and your, your moms may know about it, but she don't care as long as your dad's come back with that money. Like, <laughs> that's it. That's it. No, that, 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 keep your, I keep go your ass and, at home. Yeah, I got to go back and listen to Kirby, man. I forgot how dope that album was, man. And you didn't got me in my zone. So yeah. we're going to Miss Nicole, Miss Tiffany Nicole. Hey, what are you listening to? Other than me? Yeah, well, don't <laughs> worry. We're going to save you for the end. because um, you know. I'm still listening to Ray. I really like her. Did you ever get an opportunity to check her out? I did. I did check it out. Ray is really dope. Uh, euphoric sad mom, songs. Yes. And you know what? I don't really like slow sad songs, but her, I think she is so dope. So she puts you t- into the mood. Sean Mendes does not. Cause uh, he sounds whiny. <laughs> she sounds like she sounds like she got drunk off whiskey and wrote a song about like getting her fucking heart pull through the months. It's okay that I cuss because I just Yeah, yeah. I've been cussing all okay. that. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, she she just makes a different type of sad song. One that I feel like I, I, I really enjoy it. Plus her voice so, is dumb. sound like the we one are, that Nip's gonna write tonight when he keeps hearing that knob. Yeah, well, I sound like straight out we the are been there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she's dope. Uh, like any particular song you would suggest people listen to uh, off the album? Change your mind I think is really good. Was it Change Your Mind? Yeah. Perfect. No, that song's dope. No, I, I'm glad you put me on to that because I feel like, one, that's my bag. Everybody knows. I know Nip is, but you give me some sad songs, like I'm in my bag and I have a great life. I don't know why I even like them. Maybe that's the way I get off my pain that I try to hide behind, you know, the Knob Creek that I don't drink. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that definitely is, uh, that's my jam. But uh, shout out to Ray. Hopefully she gets bigger because I think she's very, once you put me on to her, I started going through her other stuff, and she's really, really underrated. So, shout out and to I, that. You know what I, I love about European artists? They talk like this, but they don't sing like this. No, no, they all and sing Americano. Because <laughs> let me tell you something. Hispanic, the accent, or they talk like this, that's exactly how they sing. <laughs> yeah. no, I don't know why, but, yeah, she's dope. I like her a lot. And I know it's blasphemy to bring up her name on a music show, but I, I remember the first time I realized that Iggy Azalea, like, talk like one of them and didn't talk like one of us. And I was like, oh man, how, she she's like Australian or something? What, what is that? <laughs> how did she talk like, how she rap like an Atlanta bra, but she talk, oh, okay, all right, all right. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, don't worry, we'll have another discussion about that another day. Uh, so on our last one of, hey, what are you listening to for myself? Well, we got Tiffany Nicole on here. We're bringing her on, not just because she she loves music, so that's one of the first reasons we brought her on. I just wouldn't bring her on here just because. But we also brought her on here because we want her to talk about her album, Dear. And that is actually what I have been listening to because she's given me a lot of these songs before they were on her EP. So I was kind of getting myself prepped up for it. So 
Tiffany Nicole, please sell somebody on why they should go listen to your album, Dear. My album, Dear, is eight records that I wrote over the span of a few, um, a few years, actually. Um, there's a song called Boom that was on Jersey Shore a while ago. Um, but there's new records that I wrote. Everything that I write is like straight from my heart and my gut. I write the dirty stuff. I write the bad stuff, the stuff that like, I feel like is hard to talk about that makes you raw and makes you vulnerable. But those are the type of records that really save people in my opinion. And that's why I love music. Um, that's why I fell in love with music. And listening to it for me is like, looking at a, a photo album because every song is 100% honest and pure about how I felt in that moment about that person because every or that situation because every song that I write is about something that I went through and you should listen to it because I think I make music all different types of music and every song sounds completely different and no, I mean, that's I'm also funny as shit <laughs> I would say for so what I felt like when I listen to Dear Dear is kind of what I'm gonna say this weird that we don't hear in the music industry anymore. I feel like it's a concept album yes. because the it, it has a it has a purpose. It's the reason why it's titled Dear. If you want to go into why I think it's a concept album. So for me, one thing that when I'm writing. <clears throat> always write about something that I'm going through, what I'm dealing with. Those are the type, that's when I feel inspired to write. Whenever I have to write and I'm not there, I end up hating the record. A song about nothing, anybody can write that. Anybody can sing that. Give me a song that, that is real. And so each song is written about something that I went through or someone. And so the record is called Dear and every song starts with the name of the person that it is about except for one, because I was being polite. You're welcome. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but the rest of them... It was about me, Nip, and you need to know it was about me. Yeah, it was about yeah, I him. Think, I, think that. I, don't, I, don't, I don't want I don't want none of that smoke. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Don't, don't get Taylor Swift on the low. <laughs> yeah, so that's the concept. Every song is like a letter <laughs> to them. Okay, well, so what I'm going to say, out of the album, it's, I had a ton of tracks, and it... It was hard for me to narrow down to which one was my favorite. And I'm not even saying this because she's on the show. I've, I've had this conversation with her privately. I've talked about her music. Me and her talk about her music, which is music in general a lot. I think I end up going down to my top three, which was number one fan, Joe Fuck It, and Randy Love You Again. So I actually went with number one fan because I always remember the moment when you told me you had written this song. We were riding in my car and I forgot where we were headed and you were like, hey, I'm gonna play this song for you. Tell me what you think. And I'm not gonna put all the business in the streets. But I was like, who are you going at like this? <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, you told me the story behind it. And I was like, that is dope. So I'm gonna play uh, number one fan just because it has sentimental value for me because I remember just hearing it it being like, oh shit, like, why are you all here clapping on people? But I, <laughs> so Tiffany, Nicole, dear, the song is number one fan. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I was like, damn, <laughs> you called to this, this song out. If Shorty finds out, she's gonna I'm be really a step. nice person. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, yes, it doesn't answer, but let's just say, but, if somebody but gets your mind, grill, if this song is Shorty. about them. <laughs> Somebody go come snatch your fronts out talking like that. <laughs> 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 but no. So we ask, hey, Jason, what are you listening to? Mine is uh, Dear and all DSPs everywhere. I got Spotify, so I listen to it through Spotify, but you can get it everywhere. If people need to find it, I am going to put a link to where you can go Get, get to find it at in our bios and descriptions and all that. So be on the lookout for that one. But I think that is it. I think we hit all the notes, man. I mean, hopefully this music review. I mean, I love doing the hey, what are we listening to? Because I feel like I get new music every time I hear what everybody else is listening to. So, guys, again, I appreciate everybody listening and joining us. 
Thank you to our special guest, Tiffany Nicole. It was a pleasure having you as always. I think I'm going to need you on the, <clears throat> on the 20th for the No Name Nonsense podcast. So we're probably going to figure out that and make that happen as well. Uh, Nip, as always, it's a pleasure. I feel like we yes, spend so much more time together now that we do work together. Yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Where's, uh, I feel like Wyatt is uh, Russell Simmons. Where he's at, man? He got a... Man, he in there doing backflips or some shit, man. I keep hearing bumping <laughs> and I look up. This dude, I don't know what's up with him. So, well, this is why it's not going to walk us off the show again. But again, thank you everybody for <laughs> to the Gladiator Cipher podcast. We will be back next week as always with more album reviews. Please check us out on everything Head Cannon Circus, Facebook, Instagram, um, YouTube, anywhere you can find us. We are probably there. We're on DSPs and et cetera. And then again, like I said, thank you to our guests. Tiff oh yeah, find Tiffany Cole. Where can they find you at? Sorry. They can find me on Instagram at a bunny's insta tail. Um, they can find me on Twitter at a bunny's tail. Put put a bunny into any social app, and I pinky promise you'll see this redheaded girl pop right up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. Thank you guys again, and we will see you all next week. Peace. Yes, sir.